Okay. All right. Let's let's do this. Okay. Okay, welcome back. So to finish today, before I go do something that isn't math, um, someone wants me to find the number of positions of the hands of a clock that are ambiguous if you can't tell the difference between the hour and the minute hand. So uh, what we're going to do is first we're going to just write down the map, h comma m maps to... Um, so the minute hand always goes to... We'll, we'll do everything in degrees, okay? 6m, and the h hand is like 30h plus some fraction due to the minutes, which is, um, let's see, h plus m over 60. So again, everything's in degrees, why not? 30h plus half m, 6m. Okay, and then We want this to be given by like some other time, h prime m prime, where you know the unordered set is h prime m prime, bam. So they should go in the opposite order because a linear system is determined, like it's not a degenerate system. So we would need we would need to have. Uh, 30h plus half m equals 6m prime and uh, 30h prime plus half m prime equals 6m and the kicker is that h and h prime are integers otherwise this obviously there's infinitely many solutions so we're going to uh, first get rid of the m one wait why are there four variables I have two parameters. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, strike that. We're going to... Um, right, well, first I'm going to get rid of the stupid fraction because that's just annoying. Um, so it's like... Um, we have... For, for each h, h prime... When do we get... M... M prime both in zero sixty. Each of twelve two, two, I guess. Okay, so what we're just gonna do is just gonna solve. Um Oh, okay. So let's see. How do you solve a system of linear equations? <laughs> uh, 12, 12, H. Also, sorry, I, I said, yeah, H is between 0 and 11, so 0s, because 12 is stupid. Uh, okay, so 60H plus 60 times 12H prime, that's the value of M, and then M prime is the same thing except with the rules of H and H prime flipped. Okay, so, um, I want this to be between 0 and 60, right? So we want, so we're counting so we're counting the number of pairs h h prime 
such that uh, okay, we're gonna just drop the six. The fact the factors are six to cancel. So um, do, 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 do. you multiply out the one forty three. It's like h plus twelve h prime should be less than one forty three, and h prime plus twelve h less than one forty three. And now this is like a math counts problem. Except I don't really want to do it because. Uh, <laughs> okay, 143 is actually really big, right? Wait, actually... Wait, really? Any pair works? Wait, I actually have a hard time believing that. Did I screw up? Like, if H equals H prime, then... The unique solution is to the system equations should be something. I don't know what. 60 over 11. Yeah, it is. Wait, so does it just work for all the pairs? Oh, that's a little surprising, actually. Really? Did I mess up? Uh, sorry, that's a typo. Uh, yeah. I meant less- weekly less than 11. So, less than or equal to 11. So apparently there's just- okay, so I guess it's actually just valid for any HH prime. Uh, can I- can I call in 12 choose 2? Really? It doesn't matter which ones I pick? I thought some of them would go out of bounds. Okay. What are H and H prime like the two? Like I want to find two a time uh, a time is like an ordered pair H comma M where H is an integer from zero to eleven and M is a real number from zero to sixty. Um, and I want to find two of them that give the same set of hands. So you solve and then that that should just work, I think. Is, is that it? I, I don't actually have to check anything? That's Because I thought I was going to have to do some cases, but apparently not. Okay. Uh, I will... I want to search the words clock time 66 to see if I get hits on Google. Because if that's the correct answer, I should get hits on Google by doing that. No, maybe I messed up. Did I mess up? If h equals h prime... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pick, taking pairs h and h prime, which are not equal. Right? Yeah, yeah, this is choose. This feels, this feels too clean, but I don't see a mistake. Uh, and do I just like suck at 12? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. 12, 60, 60. I'll just put in 0, 6, 10. Is it not 12 times 11? Because you can flip. It says positions of the hand, so I interpreted it as like the... I interpreted the... The two is the same, I guess, depending on your English conventions. Like, you know. I, I guess you can double it if you want, if you think that HM, it, like, the flip should be different. Um, but...
Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, it asks for the number of positions. I, I think it's more clear if it asks for the number of times, because then it's unambiguous that you should double it. If it asks for the number of positions of hands, I'm going to say it's choose two. Uh, okay, that's fine. That, that was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. What do I call this problem in Vaughn? Can I just call it clock? Clock and... Alright, well, I was just going to write clock hands as the source. And I should specify that it's an analog clock because someone, apparently these days, some people only know how to read digital clocks. Um, each time as an ordered pair, HM, where the two positions HM. This gives the position of a clock measured in degrees 